Greetings fellow zombie slayers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Lethal Chaos, Episode 9, Tino. Uh, one of the things I was kind of interested in doing is to try to figure out if Greg has hidden traits. So a little reminder here, Greg is a brand new recruit with a sheriff leadership style. He's an accountant who loves the outdoors. Um, he only has two traits and you can have up to four. So there's a very high likelihood that he has a hidden trait. And if I had him escort me, your name is Gregor Foe? Oh man, I am now a little scared of you. But um, there, there's a fair possibility that he picks up a new trait. So I might do that. And then Benji here is still recovering, but he's not that damaged, which is good. And he is already our warlord leader. And then we have Wanda here, who uh, has finally hit hero status. And she is the engineer that got bullied. Unfortunately, she doesn't have, like, wonderful uh, traits, but we can't refuse people who want to join. They ask, they join. Uh, so one of the first things I want to do is to take Greg out and uh, probably get building materials, because your building materials is basically zilch. And we do have a free building slot, so if I gain building materials, I would hypothetically be able to build, let's say, I don't know, like a... Something like a latrine or uh, a rain collector if we wanted water. You know, so some good things there. Oh, I already can fill my water cooler in the chef's kitchen, though. So I ought to do that and remember to do that every day. That way we have water in the kitchen, which is nice. All right, so let's go for building materials. And uh, one of the things I should look at is if there's any obvious building materials around me. Now, we did try to clear out... Um, the construction site over here, and we gained a lot of building materials over there, but we do have our... This place. We need materials. Look, we got a good thing going on, but we need to be tackling some real problems out here. So even so Benji just said, hey, go get ma more materials. Start thinking bigger. He's also suggesting that I uh, I get a bigger base, but we're really not going to be aiming for a bigger base until I increase the, uh, the population. So I think what I'm going to do is... Good to see you. Enlist Greg. Uh, I'm going to probably want to change Greg's weaponry around because running around with what he had doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense. This is a load and a half. And then go for some building materials and maybe do a radio call for it. I'm pretty low on all sorts of supplies, unfortunately, but that's just how it is. So what weapon do I want to give Greg? Just a wooden bat. It's really easy to you use. Talking to me? And then some uh, heal supplies, maybe a K-Bar. I don't have a lot of yeah. supplies. All right. He looks all set. I could also give him a gun. Um, your enlisted survivors can use weapons, and those weapons don't make noise. Whereas if you use weapons, well, that's a different problem. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do is put some bullets in this civilian Uzi, and then hand the civilian Uzi over to him. The I max population is what, like 9, 10? I forget. There's kind of like special conditions to be met in order to hit max pop, which is not conditions I typically... Uh, uh, meat. Alright, so some other useful things going out there would be Molotovs and nice. firecrackers. So, let's make some Molotovs. Oh, you know, I don't have the fueler filling machine in there, so I'm not going to make Molotovs just yet. Uh, I'm going to wait for the filling machine to, to finish up. All right, looking around. Just trying to spot some building materials. I don't have a lot of stuff surveyed, though. But there is building materials reported over in this red garage. So, that's where I'll head to next. Sylvia Luzi, America is wild. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, so it's about 700 meters that way. And I am going to work on my driving. 
Because I'm famously bad at driving. So I'll try to stick more to the roads. This this map is really hard to uh, to go off road. And Draco, thank you for the resub. So I'm taking I'm enlisting Greg so that he can potentially reveal an additional trait, for better or for worse. Plague territory. Gotta stay on my toes. So there's a possibility that he'll talk about his past, and that will link to a trait that he has. And it might make him stronger, might make him weaker, but either way I want to know. Hello, Sign Curve. How are you doing today? All right, the point of interest... Ooh, there's a bolt here. Nailed him. Point of interest is right over there in that barn. Fucking will be here soon. Really? Did you have to roar? So the worry here is uh, enlisted people... Uh, enlisted people will suffer blood plague at 100% rate, whereas allies that join, like, you ask to join, uh, do not get blood plagued at, like, the same rate. So it's rather, uh, risky to your own pop. Oh, really? Come on now. It's rather risky to your own population to bring people out like this, but I'm doing it so that I can learn more about Greg. For better or for worse. Really? You were zoned in on Greg and then you just beeline to me? That just seems rude. Come on, Greg. Aim for the domes. This uh, crossbow reloads because it's a hunting crossbow. It reloads so slowly. I can, like, barely use it after one shot. Alright, he's kind of getting munched on, so I gotta probably help him out. Hey, Glitch, thank you for the bits. You talking to me? Alright, let's see how he's doing. He's got 50 damage taken, but he's not blood plagued. He's 71% blood plague, but it's not 100%. Yeah, this is, uh... As I said, it's, it's dangerous to bring them out. Because they don't fight very effectively. Not unless they have plot armor. So I'll try to keep it quiet, and then maybe drive around a little bit to see if uh, Greg can reveal his trait to me. Yeah, and then I'll put okay, him into the... With a play cart nearby, I'll put him into the uh, infirmary really for his blood secure. plague to heal up. So I don't have to use a cure. So I'm going to do this nice and quiet for once, because he's just so for. sick. There we go. Some building materials. You like the way the zombies flop? up? Yeah. yeah, they don't really have a lot of self-preservation. And they're designed to sort of flop wildly at you. Oh, Greg, don't do that. Greg. 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 Gregory. Mr. Greg. Get the heck in this car. He just decided on his own to open fire on that horde over there. Come on, dude. Oh my god. Darwin called. He wants to give you an award. Alright, I wrecked the car a little bit for his benefit. Get the heck in. Alright, I am definitely going to drive us home. I don't know what his blood plague status is, but I know he probably can't take much more. And this is why... Um, 
Every now and then, people will leave comments of like, oh, you should bring out your own community members. It's like, yeah, maybe on easier difficulties, but on lethal? Oh, dear lord, is it a bad idea. Because they are not smart. Even if you give them ridiculously good guns, they won't use them effectively. Uh, they pick fights that they can't win, and then they don't. There's no way to, like, actually control them. I can't, like, tell him what to do. He just sort of, sort of follows me around. Um, so, yeah, they're stupid. They're quite stupid. Doing it to, like, other enclaves is fine if you're willing and to get them dead. But I'm not willing to get my own enclave members dead, so. If I can help it. At least we have repair kits for the damage that the car got. Yeah. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Well, you apparently would do everything, so that is not a good subset of things. So I just dismissed him, and I'll infirmary him in a second. He thankfully only got 83% infected, which means I don't need to use a cure. I just need to uh, bank him here. Time for a doc to check me out. Um, it's too bad I don't have power, because I could do a sanitation machine, but, uh, what I'll do is I'll switch this over to a cleaning station. So at least he recovers 25% faster. And then I just cooked up, uh, a batch of, uh, Molotovs, which would have helped in that situation. Seems like the fuel gauges are getting close to E around here. Mission accomplished. All right, so question for you guys. Uh, what do you want for me to do next? Scavenge? Get materials or get uh, resources? Clear infestations? Go trade? Or do a quest? Uh, don't vote for do... Well, I'm actually going to remove the do a quest thing for this poll because the current quest that's offered right now is complete suicide, so I won't be doing that. There you go. You can vote. Two and a half minutes on that poll. And hey, buddy. They want me to pet you. All right, so the filling machine allowed me to make nine Molotovs, which is awesome. And... I'm going to cook up some additional firecrackers. It looks like clearing infestations uh, possibly will win here. So if that's the case, I will bring out the materials that I need to succeed in that. The question is, yeah, Benji's already 100%, so I'm going to rest up Wanda here. So that uh, I can bring Benji out instead. He's nice and healed. Oops. Gotta be quieter. I wasn't trying to shoulder slam that. Uh, Wanda, where'd you go? I just saw you. It shows on the map that you're, like, not in the walls right now? Whose diamond is this? Oh, no, that's the medical diamond. I can see her moving around in the house. There. Right, I'm just sending her up with a gun, so if she needs to fight, she can. And scavenging get resources looks to be the leader. Oh, another thing that I forgot to do is uh, smelt all the weapon remains. So let me get the salvage furnace going so that we can get that all the parts from those weapon remains recovered. It'd be really good to do. So we're uh, low on parts, sort of. So I'm going to bring uh, some firecrackers and molotovs with me as a uh, security while I'm out and about. And get resources seems to be the winner. So I am going to get resources in order to upgrade the command center. I think that would be a really good thing. 
So get resources for command center. Fuel is low, but I'm not actually using fuel daily, so it's not uh, an issue. But the increased command center will give me another outpost, allowing me to claim a fuel outpost if I want. So it uh, has a double benefit. So building materials. I could radio call for it, but it would be better or cheaper at least if I just found some. So there we go. Here's a place that potentially has fuel and building materials. So two for the price of one. Uh, I also don't have a gun, do I? The hidden trait is Gregnant. <laughs> Resources won by a hair. I, because it almost tied, if there's infestations near where I'm headed, I'll just do that as well. Maybe you could give me a hand. There was also a survivor asking for help. I got a cover. I'm gonna go there first. I think that's more important. We're supposed to be chaotic good, so. Help survivor and then get resources. Often the survivors in need like this uh, will offer to join. So there's a huge benefit to helping them, especially when your population is low. Sometimes it's suicide, though. It's not always a good idea. Get off my car. His name is Tino. Come on, bloater. Take the bait. Okay, cleaning station is installed. Good. So, Tino, what do you need? You probably need me to guard you as you loot the house, I'd assume. Oh, you're like military, too. Uh, you're in sore need of ammo. You hear that the rickety garage could have some. No problem. Search the rickety garage for a rucksack of ammo and hand it over to him. All right, well, while I'm here, I might as well clear out this house, too. Did that, uh, zombie get yeeted off the car? Yeah, if you, if you spin around hard enough, it kind of yeets zombies back. off the car unless they're, like, uh... In, in le unless they're like ferals. Ferals just hold on better. Ooh, good fighting, dude. And a tattered green sticky note with someone's password. You getting in? Oh, <laughs> all right. Yes, but, like, through interesting teleportation mechanics. Ooh, more bolts. I am about that. Good try. Oh, that was interesting. I, like, grappled him on the other side of the fence. So there's apparently a oh, ruck in here that Tino wants. Oh, no, in there. Okay. I hear... Yeah, there's kind of a swarm guarding it. Fire in the hole! Now, if there was actually a rucksack of ammo in this garage, throwing a, uh, a Molotov at the rucksack of ammo would be a really bad idea. But luckily, this isn't real life, and ammo is not flammable like that.
You have no self-preservation instinct, dude. You just had your back turned to like an army zombie. So what I'm trying to say is you'll fit in perfectly with the rest of our crew. So please join. <laughs> So I do get asked if loot respawns, and this quest is a perfect example of loot respawning, where this garage was empty. As you can see when I enter it, it says container search 2 out of 3, and his quest created a rucksack of ammo in this box. Uh, so that's the only case that um, loot respawns, is when a quest triggers loot to respawn, and Looks it's like always it's just day. like one item. This is weird, I can't talk to him. Um, can't, uh, <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Tino, can I converse with you? Eh, let me try to go into the car and get out of the car again. Sort of reset his position. All right, we good now? We're good. I want you to have this as a sign of appreciation. Okay. Um, he could use a place to stay, and our rules dictate that we do not turn anyone down. So Thanks. welcome, Tina. Tell me how I can help. So not Let's only do I get a ruck of yeah. ammo that's on his back, but I get this ruck of medicine. Uh, that he gave me, so two for the price of none, in other words. Awesome! How many years post-apocalypse is this? Uh, at, at least, at least zero. I've, I have no idea. Who said it's even post-apocalypse? This is, this is just what, uh, this is what parts of America look like. Like, oh, no, no, don't, don't, oh my god. Tino, Tino, Tino. Doors and blooders do not mix, friend. That's like rule number four or five of the zombie apocalypse. Don't kill blooders with your car door. I used to really love decorating for the holidays. The whole neighborhood got in on it, but oh, I was really serious. Hello out there. My name is Ray something. You don't know me. But I'd like to I think Tino company. just re revealed. Here in Trumbull Valley, we're looking for good nope. folks willing to work hard to rebuild. He did place. not. I thought he was a uh, revealing a extra trait because when they talk about their past like that, that often is an indicator of an extra trait being revealed. So let's take a look at him. I haven't actually brought him home yet, but he's a car hobbyist, so he oh, likes right. to have an auto shop. Makes him happier. He laughs easily. So people would pay more attention to our place. <laughs> uh, it's okay. He was a dick. Are you trying to grapple the car, lady? She can't seem to figure out how to climb the fence with the car where it is. That's funny. Oh, you just roared. All right. Rude. How bad is Blooder plus, plus car? What happens? Um, you almost completely die of blood plague on lethal difficulty. Unless you have, like, some sort of resistance. Because what ends up happening is the blood plague fills the car, and you have to race to jump out of the car, but by the time you're out, you're almost fully plagued. So it's, it's real, real bad one of the easiest ways to lose a, uh, a person. Well, this car looks uh, brand spanking new. Just don't tell Carf Carfax. All right, Tino. This is awkward. All right, I am gonna start banking the uh, the stuff we got. Yes. 
He came with a classic crossbow. Uh, that's mine now. Oh, that's so much better. So the, the sniper crossbow is good for long range, but the classic crossbow uh, fires a heck of a lot faster. Or not a heck of a lot faster, but faster. And then also um, is lighter by two pounds or so, which makes it a little bit easier to use. I am out of ammo space. Well, that's awkward. Yeah, I am out of ammo space. Uh, I can make fireworks. We craft a toolkit, and I'll craft some box mines only because I am full of ammo. Normally, I don't use box mines because they're really expensive, but in this case, I need to spend something. So we're up to four. That's awesome. Uh, Wanda, you can check into the infirmary as well. So, Greg is almost recovered. Well, not almost, but he's about a third left, and then Wanda's going to be recovered really soon. Great. Um, so, the next thing I was going to do is get building materials. I haven't used the salvage furnace yet, so I'm about to. I'm just seeing if there's anything else I want to work on. All right, so let's start salvaging weapon remains, which takes a while. And then I do have some items that I wanted to melt down too. The splitting maul, another splitting maul, carving knife, and screwdriver. Running very light on weapons on purpose. So Tino has um, all of all potential trait slots opened or revealed, so he can't um, reveal anything new to me. Hello. Catch you later. He is uh, a little damaged, so I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna leave him out. But he is an auto mechanic. I've forgotten what good times felt like. Meaning that uh, we're gonna have much cheaper uh, car production, which is which is really good. I'm back on my feet and ready to get back to work. Smorky, thank you for the sub. Wanda's 100%. So Wanda, Wanda and Benji both are heroes. Um, if she's 100%, I am going to bring her out to try to reveal extra trait. It, again, hey, dangerous, sweet. but I, I'm going to do it anyway. It sounds like your friends need help. Any chance you come with me? Hmm. All right, so we're going to give her the 22 carbine. I don't have bullets for it. I don't have a bullet. Well, actually, I have a handgun bullet press, right? No, that's heavy duty. Never mind. Look, I support the network's right to speak their minds. I just don't support their anarchy. We've had months of chaos. It's time for some order. The win condition of this series is the Warlord victory. Oh, did it just take it from my own inventory? I hate when it does that. I'm trying to repair up the car full before rolling out. Or not full, but at least better than this banged up hunk of junk. You know what? I'm changing my mind. I'm going to take Tino out. I'd like to start working on their hero bonuses, and now that he's 100%, uh, might as well have him put in some time. Up the street. Noted. So he's Blood got a little sighted. 
Yep, I know, I know. I just I called that out. Place. Feels like home. You love this place? Dude, we're barely surviving. You're before the world ended, my You're wrong. favorite thing was to spend a whole Sunday on the couch watching football. Most times it didn't even matter who was playing. There it is. I could yell for one team to beat the hell out of the other. Wanda just revealed that she's a football fan. So she gets a morale bonus from facilities with a projector, like a lounge. So I don't need her to follow me anymore. Go on. Catch you later. It doesn't necessarily require you to drive around. It just helps driving around. Basically, if you spend time with them, um, they can reveal extra traits. So she just revealed that she likes football. Makes my life easier because then I don't have to t tow her around and risk her life for nothing. Do I have a surplus of food production? No, no, I am not producing a lot of food. I could, uh, once I get a little bit more influence, raise up my uh, um, no. swine and bovine food outpost, but it's going to be a while before I do that. And no, I don't have ammo. But we are cheerful. There's at least that. I think it's maybe the first time we're, we're cheery. So Wanda has full four traits. Tino has full four traits. Benji could hypothetically reveal another one. And Greg could definitely reveal one. Uh, so let's have Benji come along. Sweet. Oh, no, I'm not working on it. Nah, sorry. Oh, well. Never mind. He uh, he won't enlist because he has the armory quest. It's fine. So I'll go down to Bristol's, which is power and building or uh, fuel and building materials, down this way. That wasn't a flip. That was a roll. <laughs> Intentional. I can also look for food rucks. Yeah. Our food is still in the white, so it's not urgent, but it will be eventually. Hey, Chaos. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream named Chaos. It's clear, but I can't really secure this place with a plague heart so close by. And Flashfire, thank you for the sub. The resub. Wow, he lost interest in me. You know I'm like a foot away from you, guy. Maybe we can trade this to someone. You stupid. I bet I'm going to find building materials in this filing cabinet. It's not going to make any sense. Nope. Take it back. What was that noise? Like they say, fortune favors the bold. All right, one of these salvage remains got finished. Start another one. Now this place is certainly empty. Is there any building material outposts? Oh, well, right now I don't have any room for extra outposts. If I upgrade my um, command center, I'll get an extra outpost area. And then I can consider what kind of outpost to add, whether it's materials or food or fuel or something. Uh, but I don't think that there's any open spots for... Oh no, there's one. There's this unfinished house for building materials. Oh, the big miss. 
back on my feet and ready to kick ass. Okay, Greg sealed up. What is this guy's skills? So he's a really good scout and an auto mechanic, but doesn't have shooting or fighting yet. So he's in army fatigues, but I think that's just like his clothing, his uh, background. No, he's a former scout. Okay, yeah, he's a former uh, army scout or something. Now let's try to find a few more rucks before returning home. Let's go further into town. Uh, so this restaurant's already cleared. These sheds on my left are open, but they're kind of surrounded by stuff. Maybe I'll just mow them all over. We now have an auto mechanic, so... Damage to the car is kind of reversible at cheaper costs. Underlay, underlay! So any of the main uh, resources that you have, these five food, meds, bullets, uh, building materials and fuel, you can get outposts for to get passive income. Provided that the location of the outpost is not um, guarded by a plague heart. And if it is guarded by a plague heart, you need to clear the plague heart first, which um, I have the capacity to clear maybe one plague heart. But I want to save up my Plague Heart clearing weaponry for um, that's all of that for when I'm gonna change bases because all of the bases that we can move into are covered by Plague Hearts and uh, killing Plague Hearts are on lethal. You can cheese it, but I don't like to cheese it, and without cheesing it, it's rather difficult. If only I had room for it. Yeah, there's also uh, outposts for, for water and fuel and uh, artillery strikes, espresso, uh, what else? And then the special landmark one, which here is a uh, hospital. My inventory's full, so let's drop the small stuff over at Swine and Bovine, and then I'll keep, uh, I'll keep looting. Yeah, radio cooldowns, that's right. So there's a new quest that just got offered to muscle out people that live nearby that might be stealing our stuff or whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't tend to get the radio cooldown ones either. Mostly because I don't, uh, I have a lot of rules to prevent using <laughs> the radio cooldowns. Like, I don't use the radio all that often, so having it on quick cooldowns is rather pointless for me. The post office is meds. I don't think we're hurting on meds, though. Um, drab shed with bullets. We definitely have too many bullets already. Another thing I could do is I could go to the Allied Enclaves and uh, check out what they have to trade. So maybe I'll try that. I'm going to bring the decent bourbon. Um, yeah, just the decent bourbon over to trade, plus that paper note. Hey, Shallow Gene Pool. Thank you for the Risa. <laughs> oh, 
All is going pretty good. Pretty good in this post-apocalypse hood. It's probably fuel there. Oh, why'd I stop here? Alright, let's gra gather them around. Whoa! Oh, you bit me. That's gonna suck. Oh no, you countered it! Exhausted. Wow, you don't see that very often. Never do get used to the smell. Alright, so we needed a little bit more rucks of fuel, so I stopped here for the ruck. How the Blackheart treat me? Uh, so far I haven't fought any of them. Oh, did you really have to roar? Fire in the hole! I hope the Plagueheart doesn't think I'm trying to fight it. Sometimes when you uh, mess with Plagueheart this close, it will summon stuff to kill you. Just die already so I can steal your fuel. Nothing like throwing Molotovs in a gas station. Like, what could possibly go wrong with that? Stutastic, thanks for the resub as well. You and Shaolin Gene Pool are nearly tied. Aw, oh, gas can. There's four more places, or three more places to search here, though. Is a bite lethal in this game? Depends on your plague level, yeah. So if you're very blood plagued and your timer's running out, a bite would be lethal. If you're not blood plagued, a bite is annoying. It will plague you about 50%, depending on the survivor. Uh, so two bites and you start to turn, and then you have a five minute timer, uh, a turning timer. So it becomes kind of an urgent thing rather quickly. But I don't know how he reversed his uh, I actually don't know how he shrugged off that potential bite. I straight up don't understand that, but I don't mind. Guru, unknown, thank you for the sub. You love the, the RimWorld series? Well, thank you. I love all the support. I'm looking forward to the next series. The next, I have uh, two series planned in my head that I have to make more time for to work on. But this uh, spear oil was great. It had uh, a ruck of fuel and a ruck of building materials. So that might be enough building materials to... Yeah, I believe it's going to be enough building materials to be able to build the uh, the command center. If I take out the nearest plague heart, it might just clear up. Which is awesome. Let's get... Oh, nice! And his uh, hero bonus here is experience rate. He has a positive outlook where he levels up faster. Ah, you're binging on the series from last night? Well, I'm glad that YouTube suggested it to you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, bye-bye door. Let's see if I can't off-road better. I'm going to... Anytime I'm off-roading, I'm going to hyper-focus. So I might be bad at reading chat, but it's to try to keep the Moragra alive. Keep the dream alive! I need like a, a treat dispenser, automatic treat dispenser. And then Yoda will get nice and fat. Oh, I did not see that bloater. But this is what happens when you hit a bloater with a car. See, my health is almost, I'm almost dead. My plague level, I'm almost dead. My stamina, I'm almost dead. That's why uh, hitting bloaters with your car sucks badly. 
It was hiding in the bushes over there, and I didn't see it. Got too close, and it went poof. And the bloater gas sticks to your car for a bit. So that uh, even when you jump out immediately like I did, uh, you become super gross and nasty. Plague-ridden. Typhoid Mary. The good news is I'm almost home, so I'll just rest him up. But if I was far away from an outpost, that'd be a lot more dangerous. Or if the car got destroyed, that would be super dangerous. Yeah, that bloater mine, I'm sure if I, like, replayed it and played it second by second, I would have seen it. But I totally didn't see it in time. Like, I wasn't even there. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Lethal Chaos, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 13th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel by making it all the way to the credit. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie slayers.